So today's video, I just decided is gonna be completely different than what I had planned. I'd planned on working on the kayak camping trailer today, but it's beautiful. I just got home from work. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the glare, but look how beautiful it is out here. It's nice weather. And I've been looking for a good excuse for us to try out this trailer in the current state it's in. I haven't had a chance to put the corner jacks to a real world test where we take it out get the trailer level, set everything up. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna drag it down by the backyard pond that we've been working on and it'll be a cool little update. You'll see where it's at right now. Uh, the state it's in, it doesn't have a lot of water in it, just a spoiler alert, but we're gonna pull this trailer out today and set it up. But as I was just pulling up, I think I got a package out here and I've been waiting on something. And in today's video, man, that sun is like right in my face. Today's video, we're also going to check out a new way that we're gonna be powering this trailer. Uh-oh, I got packages on the front porch. This is from Billy Bars. I can't wait to show you what these are. This is gonna be great. All right, so I'm gonna take these packages back around to the shop. We're gonna hook the trailer up and we're gonna go out by the pond. We're gonna set the trailer up, get it level, test it out. And I'm gonna show you guys some cool new stuff that we're gonna be using to power the trailer. Bluetooth capable, it's some really cool stuff. So let me hook everything up, put this Billy Bar stuff up. This is an upcoming video. You guys are gonna like what this is, it's really cool. But I'm gonna put this stuff up, hook the trailer up, and we'll get out in the woods. All right, we made it down here. We are at the back of the property. As you can see, I've got the truck and the trailer back here next to the fire pit. Now I put this fire pit down here last year next to the pond. If you've been following for a, the channel for a long time, you know that at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna see if y'all can see it behind me there. I put this pond in. Now it is actually a pretty big pond. That right there is, if you can see it, this is a boat ramp that goes all the way down to it. It's not holding water like I really wanted it to. It's got a lot of clay, but not enough, obviously. So we're probably gonna have to have a well put in and maybe seal the pond up with some clay or liner. So anyway, it's gonna be a cool hangout when we get done. I've got the fire pit set up right beside it. So this is where we're gonna test this trailer out tonight. I just kinda wanna get everything popped out, take notes, write down anything that I wanna change or anything that I wanna add. Uh, we're definitely going to get to test out the level jacks because I don't know if you can tell on camera, that trailer is not level at all. So we're going to use the jacks today for the first time, get the trailer leveled out, pop out the awning, pop out the tent, plug everything up, and then I'm going to show you the new, the two new things that we're going to be installing on this thing. They're awesome, uh, some really cool uh, Bluetooth style 100 amp hour lithium batteries. They're super cool. I'll show them to you in just a minute. We'll unload it and get everything wired in, but check it out. It's gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna set the camera up. We're gonna pop this stuff out really quick. Start a fire because it's starting to warm up and the mosquitoes are coming out. So I'm gonna get a fire going and we'll see how this thing looks. Let's do it. I had to take 
that freaking pullover off. It got hot. I think it's like 70 degrees out here today, but I've got everything popped out. As you've seen, the tent's up. Everything's, I don't have the windows and stuff opened on it, but I got the awning out, got everything level. I had to use a few rocks. Let me turn the camera around. So I had a couple of pretty significant dips back here in the corners. So I grabbed a brick and a rock and used them on the scissor jack, but it was able to get the, the trailer pretty level out here. This is how we're gonna look when we're out camping. Of course, we'll be able to unhook the truck and leave it where we're at. If you're wondering what this is, this is a diesel heater that I picked up on Amazon. I'm working on it right now. I'm gonna fabricate a cool box so it'll be more permanent and more practical for our use. But I ran it one time already. It's, it's gonna heat up the tent really well. It's gonna be a fun little build. I'll probably make a video out. If you're interested, I'll make a video on building that and getting it all plumbed up for the tent and stuff. But that is not what today's video is about. Today, we're just testing this bad boy out and it looks good. I mean, this is gonna be nice. We, I mean, of course, we didn't bring the kayak or nothing down here. Really ain't enough water in the pond to do, do much kayaking, but we can definitely test this, this camping trailer out and get it set up. So let me grab uh, what I was telling you guys about earlier and show you what I plan on doing with them in the next video. And we'll just go over the rest of that real quick. I'm going to show you. But here is what I wanted to show you guys. And it's today's video sponsor, which is aolithium.com. And they sent out these LifePo 4 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. They sent two of these out for the kayak camping trailer. And they also sent me a 10 amp hour LifePo 4 battery for the kayak, which we're gonna be installing in an upcoming video whenever we put the new graph on the Hobie. But these things are awesome because they're, as you can see right here, Bluetooth 5.0. What that means is that these batteries actually come with an app that you download when you get the battery and you can keep up with the current uh, your charge if you need to charge the battery it'll show you how long it'll take to be charged how far away it is from being fully charged and you can just check the status of each battery and it, the batteries are separate so when I opened up these two batteries they ship really well look at the phone that these things come in and I got them in the other day I unboxed them and as soon as I unboxed them and downloaded the app the app automatically recognized that I had these near me and it asked me to sync the batteries you can rename them uh, like if you put them in your boat you can say boat battery camper battery whatever and you can keep up with the current draw and stuff like that these things are 12.8 volts 100 amp hours and they only weigh 23.6 pounds each so super lightweight compare that to a lead acid battery this is like half or less than half the weight of a lead acid battery and not to mention it'll last a lifetime these things will last just about forever uh, as long as you charge them right i think this thing will have let's see if i can find it here i'm reading on the website uh, they've got a really nice website it explains everything and they have more than just the 100 amp hours and the 10 amp hours they got all kind of batteries they got different sizes they've got all kind of cells that always go on their website is really clear but what is really cool about this is they also sell on amazon so if you're like me and you find something you really like and the first thing you do is check Amazon that's what I always do they sell these on Amazon so in the description below I will have the aolithium.com I'll have their website below so you can check them out but I'll also have the link to the Amazon on these batteries that I have right here these are great batteries they are going to go in the front box of the kayak camping trailer and this is what we're going to use for all of the lights, all of the charging ports, the cooking and all that cool stuff throughout the year. So thanks AO Lithium for sponsoring today's video. I can't wait to get these things installed. You guys make sure you check out the link in the video description. Check them out on Amazon, get you one if you're needing a good battery. These have great reviews and I can't wait to use them. <laughs> y'all should have y'all should have seen these deer behind the camera just now when I was just shooting that little promo video for AO Lithium. I was actually interrupted two or three times by I kept hearing something blow at me. And it was, I've got some deer that live out here on the property and I've got a deer feeder. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think it's right there on the camera, but I've got a deer feeder. We don't hunt out here, but I always fed them. And that's why one of the main reasons we put the pond in back here is to, for the deer and the wildlife that we got. But they're used to coming out here and eating at that feeder about this time, right before dark every night. And it's a nice night, it's clear skies. So you know they're wanting to come out and eat right now. And I kept hearing something in the woods behind me the whole time. I, I was getting distracted trying to make that little promo for uh, AO Lithium. 
And I finally, once I finished it, I turned around to try to get the camera on them and I kind of spooked them back into the woods. So now I'm hearing gunshots. So I hope they didn't run too far, too far the opposite direction. But I am fixing to set a fire up, hang out down here and really put this thing for a test tonight. Now, I know this video was just kind of a quick pop it open in the backyard. If you're new here and this is the first one of these videos that you've seen, I plan on doing a lot of camping out of this thing. Like I said, we've got the new tires and wheel, wheels. That's one of the main reasons I haven't taken this thing out yet uh, really far. I know I did that one trip to Gunnersville when we first built it, but here lately I haven't really trusted the tires. They're old, they're dry rotted, and I ordered them. They were special ordered, so they'll be here tomorrow. So after Thanksgiving, I plan on taking this on some cool trips up in the woods the lake, the mountain, all that cool stuff. So we're gonna be testing this thing out. But tonight, I'm just gonna kinda of light a fire, hang out down here, and level the trailer out, see how it does tonight, and go from there. I'm gonna take notes of stuff I wanna add. I've already got a little list going of stuff that I wanna make sure that I can mount to the trailer or take with us for the trailer whenever we go, like some blocks. I wanna cut up some wooden blocks that if we need them to go up under the scissor jacks, we'll have them on the trailer, and I ain't gotta run around looking for rocks and stuff to go up under there. So stuff like that that's why i'm doing this in the backyard but and that's what i'm going to do today uh if you're new to the channel and you're not you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button if you like today's video give it a thumbs up be sure you go check out al lithium's batteries they're really cool i've charged them up the cool thing about those is you can charge them and put them in your shop and if you don't use them they hold charge forever i mean those those life po 4 batteries are amazing so check them out if you're looking for a good battery uh I'm going to put these in an upcoming video. I'm probably just going to install them off camera and I'll show you how, how I got them wired up and stuff like that. I'm just going to now just light a fire, set everything up and hang out down here for the night. I might take some pictures for you guys so you can check them out on Instagram. If you don't follow me, I'm at kayakusa on Instagram. I'll catch you guys next Thursday at 2. Peace.